Welcome to our show. I hope that today's show can bring some enlightenment to the things that we do, all of us actually, and that can make you feel that we are, after all, humans. Today we're going to talk about the comfort zone. Do you have a comfort zone? Do you think it's healthy to have a comfort zone? Or do you feel that we should all try to venture outside of our zone? Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about the comfort zone. We're talking about a zone that we stay in because it gives us reliability, it makes us feel safe, it's something that we're used to, and ultimately it is something that we can keep in order for us not to fear anything else. The comfort zone actually can be very beneficial to us. It can keep you the way you are, you don't have to venture outside, it can guarantee you certain things and certain behaviors, and it can make you be the way you are just safe and settled. Now, you might be asking me, well, if I'm okay with my comfort zone, why do I need to change it? Now, you're right. You don't have to change your comfort zone if you're comfortable with it. But oftentimes, we are comfortable with our comfort zone. But the problem is, is that when you don't think about something else besides your comfort zone, when you don't leap into something new, you are missing a lot of opportunities that you could have had if you just ventured out. Now, you could also say to me, well, I don't really wanna know what else out there. I don't want anything different. I like the way things are, and I don't really want to temper with the comfort that I'm in. And I could also say to you, you're right. You don't really have to do that. But for some people, it depends on their age and it depends on their skills and it depends on their ability to be able to be explorative and want to learn something else. When you keep yourself in a comfort zone, you're never going to be able to see what's out there that maybe there are better opportunities and possibilities for you. I know a lot of people that they should be changing their behaviors, that their routine has caused them a lot of distress their ability to stay where they are have really missed out on a lot of opportunities that they could have had and could have made a lot of different decisions. But because they're afraid of the thing that they don't know, they would rather just stay with the thing they know. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, it's always nice to have some sort of a comfort zone because I know that I trust this thing, I know what it is, and I don't know what's out there for me that maybe I won't be happy. People that actually change their comfort zone and people that don't really have a comfort zone they tend to be brave and they like to take risks if you're that type of person who likes to take risks and who likes to venture and doesn't like things to be the same way then you probably want to change your comfort zone now there are people that are always anxious they're scared they worry about the unpredictable they worry that they might not make good decisions and therefore they don't have enough confidence in themselves to be able to change their comfort zone. When we become comfortable with something, that creates routine. For some people, it might be okay, but for other people, it might not be okay because it makes them feel that they're missing out on a lot of things. But because of their fear, they've been held back, worried about what to expect, and therefore they never venture out to see what else can they do. This is all about your confidence. There are people that deep down, they know that no matter what and what things that they can try and where they can venture, they'll always be okay. And there are people that don't have the confidence that they constantly put themselves down and they feel that whatever it is that I'm comfortable with, even if I don't like it and it's negative, it's better than breaking the fear and venturing out. Stay tuned, I'm going to come back to talk about the comfort zone and see what kind of things can you challenge yourself to just make some changes in your zone. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about the comfort zone. 
We're talking about your zone that you're comfortable in. And although it might not be healthy, you're still sticking with it because it's something you know and it's better than the things that you don't know. This has a lot to do on our uh, marriage proposals, for example, or even commitments with other individuals or even with our kids, or with our job. It could be about career changes. It could be about decision to continue school. Uh, it could be with even relationships that we have. For example, I know many people, they have some friends that are very toxic, but because they're comfortable with the person and the friendship that they have, they don't want to accept the idea that this is a toxic relationship. So instead of getting rid of that person, what do they do? They'll stay with that person, regardless how bad that person makes them, because this person is better than creating new friendship. Imagine that you are allowing yourself to stay in relationships. Whatever it is, work relationship, interpersonal relationships, friendship relationships, in the same way, or even relationships with our family members, that we know that they're toxic, but because we don't have either the energy or the faith that we can make better friends, or that just the idea that I can cut these people out of my life without worrying about having them in my life and changing my comfort zone. The problem with comfort zone, as I said, is that it can really create negative habits where you get used to, although they're very detrimental or harmful to you. People that live in a comfort zone, they're living in a zone where they've created to protect themselves because they're scared and they have a lot of fears of the future. But there are also other people that they know that their comfort zone has been un very harmful, they have enough confidence to realize that I need to change the people in my life and change some of these relationships that I'm in and getting out of it because I can deserve better. I also know people that make career changes even if they've been in their company for several years because they realize that this comfort zone of being in the same job has really become an obstacle for them to really seek out better qualities in themselves. If you don't get rid of your comfort zone, you'll never know what type of friends that you can have that are better than the ones you have. You'll never know and understand the type of skills you have because you might have a lot of skills and you might have entrepreneurship personality or even your own business or even having friends that really are not toxic and they can appreciate you. But you're never going to know that if you don't realize that my comfort zone has been created to protect me but not really, it's not healthy for my mental health. Remember, we create comfort zones to protect ourselves. We allow people to be in our zone because it is the best thing for us at that time. We also allow people to come in into our lives and we want them to stay there because they're giving us some sort of a um, unrealistic safeness, you know, making us feel that we're safe even though we know that they're not good to us. Confidence, that's the only thing you need. Believe in yourself, believe in your capabilities and your skills. If you know you could do better, change some of the things in your comfort zone. Don't start big, start small. Try to get rid of one friend, for example, that you don't know that well or haven't been in your life, was not gonna make a difference. Make changes of things that are small and introduce your comfort zone to something new. If you can start small, making changes, then you'll be ready to make bigger changes. Thank you so much for staying with us. And remember, on this show, we always try to keep it positive.